Well, here's something you might not know. Mill Creek Park began in 1891 as a way people could enjoy nature. Over 100 years later, th the tradition continues to the park's trails. But as first news reporter Amanda Smith discovered, it takes a lot of work and money to keep those trails up. There are 45 miles of trails that work their way through Mill Creek Metro Parks. It's a never-ending battle to maintain them. But the people who love this park say it's worth the fight. Angela McKenna and her grandfather Jim walk the trails year-round. The good thing is that all the trees, there's a lot of shade. And if you go down in the winter, you can see all the ice formations, and that's really cool. Of course. They noticed some upgrades recently on their walks. A new gravel trail was laid down along the road. There's also new signs up with distances and trail names. It's nice because you don't have the mud and stuff to put up with. That. Yeah, I like that uh, part with the gravel, and also roots are hard to put up with, too. Mill Creek Metro Park spends more than $100,000 every year maintaining its trails. That includes building new trails and fixing old ones. The continual process and battle based on the age of the trails and the, uh, the realities of where they're located. Many of the trails were built during the WPA programs in the 1930s. Workers hoisted rocks and bags of cement. And that still happens today. Always manual labor. Recently, a new retaining wall was built on the West Gorge Trail to repair a washout. This had workers hauling 80-pound sacks of concrete in wheelbarrows. It's the second time the park has rebuilt a trail this way. Boy, at least a decade ago, and it's still holding its own. Um, it may or may not outlast the, the length that the, some of the WPA stuff has done, but uh, so far so good. The hope is to keep these trails beautiful for at least another 120 years. At Mill Creek Park, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.